All right, uh, on this one here, I'm going to show you this little something that I came up with for an idea. I've seen other people do it. Uh, I have to modify mine a little bit. Uh, this is basically a 30 gallon uh, syrup container. It had Dr. Pepper in it, and smell it when you open it. Uh, the line right up to here is 25 gallons, uh, so I imagine that's the next 30 right there. There's 20 from here to here, so I imagine from there to there is 30. Okay, what I've done is I've removed both the bungs, that's the white caps on top. I took a three quarter inch drill bit, paddle bit, and I drilled them from inside of here. It clears it very easily, and it drills it out. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw these spigots in there on both sides, but they're both going to face out. This one will face this way, the other one will face the other way. It really doesn't matter what type of spigot you use. I had a couple of different types because when I'm in doubt, I'll buy a half inch and a three quarter just to make sure I've got the right one. And then what I'm going to do is I'll pull the bungs off, one of the bungs off. I'll have a valve shut. I'll have the strap to the back of a four wheeler. And whichever one is pointing down will probably have a little six, seven foot section of hose sticking out. And if this one is on the uphill side, I'll fill it from this side till it, till it overflows, and then I'll put the bung back on. So one of them will be for water coming down, the other one will be pointing up, and that will be a vent. Okay, so that's it for this and uh, for this section, and I'll go ahead and put it together and show you when it's done. Well, there's a the setup right there, um, sitting on the back of the four-wheeler. Uh, 30 gallons, of course, when it's sitting like that when I was filling it, it only went up to the bottom of the top bung, so it's probably 25 gallons in there. But uh, I'm going to fire it up here in a second, and that's what it looks like for transport. Right, there's the hose. All i got to do is just flip this lever right here down. So I'm going to take that lever, flip it down. You can hear it pressure move. Okay, I don't see, okay there's a little bit of water moving. Now I'm going to open this valve up here. So apparently I don't even need to open the valve, but in a little bit it will create a vacuum. You can hear that back that, that valve open up letting the air in. So if I just let those let that run for I don't know a minute or two, a couple minutes, it'll give me give me some good water for these trees. And then I can turn around and I can hit all the other trees. I got some over there, some over there. See these are the ones that I don't like to get the hose out for because it gets left out. And then I end up with a hose like this that's been hit by the mower because I didn't see it. Those trees over there have all got a drip line on them. So I turned that on for about an hour, and next thing I know, I got water running down the end of the driveway. But uh, these trees here, it's better to water the trees than it is to water the whole yard and get the grass. I end up wasting a lot of water in the grass when my focus is more about my fruit trees. Okay, so that's it. Um, that's how it works. Uh, there you go, it's running away.